Russia may deceive Ukrainian forces with fake offensive. Forbes. Many experts expected the Russians to launch a major offensive on May the 9th. Early that day, Russian troops crossed the northern border of Ukraine by armored vehicles entering the Kharkiv region. Ukrainian UAVs and artillery quickly destroyed enemy weapons. According to Forbes, units of the 11th and 44th Army Corps of the Russian Federation managed to advance somewhat and take positions in the villages of Strilecha, Pilna, Krasny, Morokovets and Olenikovo. Many doubted the Russian troops crossed the border so quickly. The answer is simple. The border is a grey zone without troops and fortifications directly on the border line. The Ukrainian analytical group Frontelligence Insight reassured. It is noted that Ukraine has created a defence a few kilometres south of the border and placed troops and territorial forces behind these structures from where they can respond to the actions of the invaders along the border zone. Statements about the collapse of the defence are premature and untrue. Unlike large mechanised units, Russian lightly armoured small tactical units deployed in small villages along the border can relatively easily move into the grey zone and seize control. Analysts explain. Although there are signs that the occupiers want to strengthen their positions in this small number of border settlements, so far there is no evidence that they have gathered forces for a serious offensive against Kharkiv. Finnish analyst Johnny Askola suggested that serious progress in this area may not have been the enemy's main target. There is a possibility that this is just a deliberate deception to force the Ukrainian troops to withdraw their forces from Chasiv Yar and the cities west of Avdiivka. According to the expert, the Kharkiv maneuver of the enemy can lead to a decrease in the availability of reserves to counter Russia's main offensive in the east. As noted, the 42nd Mechanized Brigade of Ukrainian troops was the first to move forces north to strengthen the territorial troops. According to the officer of the Ukrainian army, Denis Yaroslavsky, the 57th Separate Mechanized Brigade and the 92nd Air Assault Brigade and the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence Kraken Unit also advanced to the Kharkiv front. It seems that the Russians are trying to sow panic and uncertainty in society, convincing the population of the threat that is coming across the border. Notes from Intelligence Insight. Thus, the Russian Federation encourages Ukraine to redeploy units to these areas and distracts from focusing on Russian strategic goals in Donbass. Ukrainian soldiers from the 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade have shot down a Russian Su-25 attack aircraft on the Avdiivka front. Russian aircraft continue to fall. The anti-aircraft gunners of the 110th Brigade have done a great job again. They hit another Su-25 today. The invaders still haven't realized that they have no business flying in our skies. They will keep going down, said 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade named after Lt. Gen. Marko Bazruko. Recall on May 4, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that the 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade had shot down a Russian Su-25 attack aircraft in Donetsk Oblast. The military noted that the occupiers have not yet realized that there is no point in flying in the Ukrainian sky, so, they will continue to fall. The Su-25 is a Soviet-era subsonic attack aircraft designed to support ground troops and destroy targets. The attack aircraft is equipped with aircraft cannons, aircraft bombs, unguided air-to-surface missiles, and guided air-to-air -air missiles. According to published data, the approximate cost of one Su-25 aircraft is $11 million. Russia loses over 1,300 soldiers, 55 artillery systems in a day. Russia lost 1,320 soldiers in the Ukraine front on May the 10th to the 11th, bringing its combat losses to 481,030. Since Ukraine's full-fledged invasion in February 2022, general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported. In a statement published on its official Facebook page, the general staff also revealed Russia's losses in terms of military equipment. Thus, Russia lost 15 tanks, 40 armoured combat vehicles, 55 artillery systems, two multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, 
one air defense system, 42 operational and tactical UAVs, one cruise missile, 64 vehicles and tankers, and nine special equipment during the hostilities over the past day. Moreover, over the past day, 104 combat engagements took place at the front line as Russia launched seven missiles and 108 airstrikes, more than 120 attacks from multiple launch rocket systems at the positions of Ukrainian troops and various settlements, according to the General Staff report. Overall, Ukrainian troops have destroyed 7,449 Russian tanks, 14,353 armored combat vehicles, 12,442 artillery systems, 1,064 MLRS, 769 air defense systems, 342 aircraft and 325 helicopters, 9,868 operational and tactical UAVs, 2,193 cruise missiles, 26 ships stroke boats, one submarine, 16,755 vehicles and tankers, and 2,040 pieces of special equipment since the start of the war. Ukraine has recently intensified defense in the northern Kharkiv region as Russia sought to open a front in that area. On Friday, Ukraine revealed that all Russian attacks on Kharkiv were repelled and there have been no losses of territory. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said his country's forces had been ready for the attack on Kharkiv.